It is a union that became a movement under the leadership of the late Karen Lewis. For the past decade, the Chicago Teachers Union has gained power pushing an agenda that focuses on social justice issues outside the classroom. She said they didn't listen when we marched across this city. They didn't listen when we had a hunger strike. They didn't listen when we barricaded ourselves in schools. They did not listen for Chicago tonight. Chicago chose one of CTU's own. The election of Brandon Johnson, a former Chicago public schools teacher and paid CTU organizer, is the culmination of a movement to elect people who will champion the union's cause. This is an unusual thing in modern American cities that a labor union elects one of its own to run a major city. CTU funded and provided the ground troops for Johnson's campaign. CTU President Stacey Davis Gates introduced the mayor elect last night. Both spoke about the end of old style machine politics in Chicago, but some would say the teachers union is the new machine. A machine by a different name in some sense, um, but a, you know, uh, a potent one. During his first term, Brandon Johnson will have the opportunity to pick the first 12 people on the new elected CPS school board. He will also be faced with negotiating a new teacher's contract next year. Davis Gates looks forward to labor peace compared with the last two mayors. Johnson insists he's not beholden to CTU, but he believes people voted for him because of the social injustice issues the union supports. I am uniting the city around a set of values that the people of Chicago obviously want. Just how much influence the teachers union will have at City Hall remains to be seen, but political experts say mayors do change once they take office and govern. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.